Hello, people of the Surf, and welcome back to Star Trek Armada 3. Currently, Shinzon is firing a death beam of uh, triaxlating frequencies. That's not it. A Thoron, that's it, not triaxlating, because that's a completely different thing. Anyway, he's firing a Thoron beam at turret, because of course. And Pandora's knife. That's interesting, considering they're Norsicans. Well, Orions. Lions? Yeah, I think that's actually it. I'm not sure if that's uh, an Orion or a. Gorn ship, but either way, they're not humans, unless they studied human, um, uh, history book things at, at, at their, their form of a learning thing, then, th and, unless they did that, I don't expect them to know what Pandora is, it's confusing, I barely know, um, <laughs> um, uh, do that, good. Essentially, box person with big deathly stuff inside box, and then everyone died, essentially. Uh, but then there was a tiny bit of focus, like, ooh, look, stuff's happened. Ooh, crap, that's firing lasers at our stuff, and by lasers I mean disruptors. Ah, come to me, there we go. Disruptors, there's disruptors, whoa, actually, there's pulse disruptors. Essentially the same thing. Similar to the Federation, I believe, with the very few times they do disruptors. Uh, ooh, crap. That's nothing really important. That's the Dominus class. Okay, nothing really important, but still can go over there. Um. And this planet is is scuppered, really. I mean, there's not really much that it can it can do. It's it's. <laughs> I'm I'm so happy about auto saves not working. Uh, I think I know where to do that because I think I accidentally made everything in like my computer file that was like locked or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, you lie in the shadows and you're also lying in shadows and um, just blow everything out. Maybe that might do something. I don't know. One of those abilities might. I don't know. I, don't know. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't actually used my cloak ability other than, or my cloak fleet other than that one time. Hang on, this cloak. Oh my god! Cloak fleet, cloaks, holograms. I don't know if that's deliberate or if that's a bug or something, but yeah. That's a very neat line you've made there. Very neat. It's, if, if I scroll out, it's almost straight. Other than the slight. It's like, it scales up, it's essentially. But it's not too bad. Now, now, you, now you've forced it up. Literally, it's now turned into a ball. Anyway, um, <laughs> whoa, jokes. Uh, first joke was two and a half minutes through. I think this is going to be a good one. So, ooh, crikey. I was going to come around and flank them, but I don't think that's really necessary. Um, yeah, and here's a, here's a lovely phoenix. Not phoenix. Prometheus, that's the one. Phoenix is, I think, this one. Yeah, that's a phoenix. Uh, or, or, or just a, a warp one. Cochrane ship. I mean, it, it, it doesn't really matter, really. Uh, that's there. Um, yeah, this is all good. This is good. This is this is a ship of death. Yeah, well, I was going to say, well, at least we have the advantage of numbers, but no, that, that the, 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 the left side is what our allies have. Right, there are three Keldons, though. And two Galores. That's pretty good. But they have, they have more. Just, just, just a little bit more. Yeah. It's weird because the, um, both Cardis and Dominion forces don't really have a, um, a thing like most other people where they have, like, a, an Akira class or a Fortune, not Fortune, a Kvek or, yeah, Kvek, or a, what do we have? We have a Falcon. Uh, yeah, the, the Cardis don't really have that. They have, they have a, um, in a similar way that you can upgrade the, ooh, human it, that's weird, human workforce, I mean, in a similar way you can upgrade the Dideridex, um, uh, multiple times. Christ, that's a field of asteroids, and by asteroids I mean breaking. What the hell's going on here? What the hell? It's not some, that's not something that Prometheus can do. It might be, oh no, hold on, I need to click on this, there we go, oh no, come on, hold on. Right, so what do the, uh, I don't think any of these people can do anything like that. Is there anything I don't know much about? Defiance Center? Nagfar? Nah, I'm pretty sure I know that Nagfar doesn't do anything like that. Maybe it's something when the Cardis did that. Maybe Gulmerid or Kentar did something, I don't know. But anyway, uh, yes, what the hell was I saying? Um, good, I remember everything I was saying there, uh, Def, Def, Def. Oh crap, I think we're being attacked. We're being attacked. My god, we're being attacked. On oh, not Corellia. Um God damn you! God damn you to hell! I mean, we've we've completely conquered your thing. Oh balls. Now now the Klingons come in and take that. 
Uh, not if I have anything to say about it. Oh, Christ, we have lost that world, apparently. Oh, yeah, we lost that. Oh, balls. <sighs> I'm pretty sure the Telshiel listing post is the thing with the deathly stuffs, whereas the deathly stuffs. I could build some outposts and star bases, but eh. Uh, listing post, listing post, listening post, stuffs. There we go. Dual. Oh, crap, tab that. There we go. That, that worked well. That worked well, me tab that. Centurion. centurion. Yeah, I am a centurion, apparently. I am a member of the Roman military. Um. Uh, I like how the Romulans are just space Romans. Uh, that's that's a fact. No, that's probably that, yeah. That's something I like to think of. Just oh hello, we're a load of space Romans. Ooh, um, what's the name of that episode? Bands of Terror. I love that episode. That's a great episode of TNG. TNG. Yes, that that happened in TNG because of course. Although essentially it was just in TNG with uh, Tomalock's first arrival, which I believe I can't. I, I, I don't think it wasn't Tom Log, but I think the uh, person beside him was the same actor whose name I don't know who played Gold Cart. Fun fact. I think. Um, I think uh, him and. What's his name? He was he was in. Um, that thing. He was in Enterprise of Shran and Shran. That's the one, yes. I was getting confused with the captain of the Enterprise F. He was in the. He was in the. He was Shran and Wayung. Um, Jeffrey Coombs, that's his name. Um, I think it's only. I think. Uh, the Girl Man and Coombs Man were in. Uh, were in. Uh, I believe more than two episodes of Star Trek. Two series of Star Trek. Or they were in two st episodes, series of Star Trek. I don't know. But they were, like, characters and. Multiple episodes. I think uh, Descartes Man was a multiple Star Trek series person. By series, I mean series of the television series as opposed to series of the. No, that didn't work. It's difficult when you're trying to describe something like, for example, Star Trek with its six series. Is it six? Um, yeah, so it's six series and then it's like 30 series, series. Whatever. Like, no, how. TNG was a series and it had seven series but not series because that's not a word but <laughs> whoa confusion I'm sure everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about I probably didn't do actually uh, that's, that's bad oh, Christ. oh no we've got allies we've got allies to help our entire bloody thing oh yeah what are you going for it doesn't look like you're going for that planet ah my throat my throat right everything's good good everything's better now I've I've not blowing my nose, but you know, whatever. You moving? Yeah, you are. Good. Right. Uh, this planet is mine. Well, it's not, because hostile culture is too strong, but it would be mine otherwise. Select it. There we go. Uh, yeah, go over here and, and, and uh, as probably the youth or something would say, wreck them. Um, I'm just sending my fleet apart. One over here, one over here. And by one over here, I mean this fleet right over here. Oh, bugger it, don't bother going over there and Maintain even though half you are already going over there, just go over there and I'll build a defense force at homeworld and send them around my territory, they'll just hang out here and if I see any pirates then make this move. And there won't be any pirates anyway because I've defeated them all so it's not good. Um, there we go, so that's fine, this is the last one of the pirates. So. Oh bugger off, I don't care about you and your existence. Right, let's just build a small fleet of stuff, um, just frigates really, do 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 oh, balls, um, raptors, there, torpedo, oh crap, it's the hawks, there, oh, I need more stuff, need more stuff, need more stuff, need more stuff, and need more stuff, ten, and ten, and ten, and not ten, and, uh, come on, you know you can. Ten. <laughs> may take a little bit of time, but yeah, it'll be fine. It may take time, but it'll be fine. Oh, man, that's great run that. Swiftly and silently you go into the places of death, really. Um, yeah, bomb the planet. I mean, sure, take out this... Uh, I thought that was half built there. Take out this... Wow! Do you think I've ever looked in there, his station? I thought it was a lot more compressed. I thought the end ended about here, not massive tube thing here. 
I've never really. I just look. I think I've only looked in Aries Station like this, and sometimes like this. No, no, actually, I don't think I've ever seen an Aries Station zoomed in. Um. Good, hang on, what's connecting that? Nothing is connecting that to that. It's completely floating. Just if you just track to him somewhere, anywhere on this sort of ring here, and just put it slightly. It will just move and completely decapitate this entire section. That's that's good. That's great weakness the Federation has developed there. Seriously, it's like no, it's difficult to see, I and mean, you probably can't even see this in uh, 480. But there's no connection points here. Terrible design. Anyway, also. <laughs> There's just this rim around here that apparently is taking damage. No, it hasn't. Okay. It just looks weird because it was like the stuff that. Oh, does this have any. Ooh, does the, can I zoom in? Oh, no, I don't think it has any pictures of. Ah, light! Right, yeah, I don't think it has any pictures of, like, the show. Like, some things do. Um. Ooh, it's the Akira class. Mmm, look at it. That's a big phaser strip just long now. It's lots of face stuff. Ah, look at it firing everything. Mwahahaha. Ooh, constellation class. Looks like it's exploding, but no. Uh, and I'm pretty sure other than that, Predator. Is that a Predator? That's a Scout. Okay, there's a big difference between a Predator and a Scout. Ooh, that's a battlefield. Why do you just zoom out? I explicitly click the zoom in button. Ooh. Is that a Galaxy class saucer, or is this a Phoenix class saucer? There is no way to tell, considering they're actually the same thing. So, yeah. Oh, that's that's a bit of a that's a big hole there, and then there's nothing inside the ship apparently. Okay, we could see like decks rather than just this green and black scorching, but still, it, it, actually that would be pretty cool to see the little decks there. But, eh. Um, Klingons, warping out. Hello, Martok, son of Korath. You are you by any chance running? Not sure if he is. Oh yeah, yeah, he's he's running. I don't know what that was. Pretty gross, I mean. But yeah, he's, he's gone. Playing the probably own both of these worlds. Oh, hang on, that culture's possibly gone or something. Uh, have I lost any planets? They're all there. Oh, cool. No, no, I'm about to lose some planets, but I haven't lost it. Oh, I thought I just built four colony vessels then. I thought, oh god, that's a terrible thing. That's not my home world. Good, I haven't built colony vessels. That's a good thing. Right, good. I sound really, really boring. Um, oh, I wanted them to have a dreadnought. That'd be good. Right. Yep, that's that's a lot of lovely colours there of, of 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 blue, green, yellow, and orange. By yellow and orange, I mean yellow and red. This, I mean, or orange and yellow and red. Are essentially just shades of the same color, although they're not. But I don't know. Anyway, um, this is a star-shaped map, sort of. Do do do. No, it's a pentagon. Pentagon? No, that's the wrong one. It has six sides, if you don't include all of these sides. I don't know. It's it's not an even shape. Um. Ha! Well, at least it's good to know we own all these Mentoron Nebulas, and I'm sure the crew of these vessels are loving it, of the shaking of the ship, and the, the like, ah, stuff, and big torpedo death platform pod thing. Ooh, a wormhole! Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe the, uh, maybe the Dominion forces could use it to invade the Alpha Quadrant. Or, or maybe not. Oh, crikey, that's a big fleet, including my own. Wow, that's a lot of green! Uh, oh, are you? Oh no, that's just a falcon. I thought, what's the what's that ability have? Oh, you're leveling up. Cool. Kill stuff. That's the request. Uh, right. You you have past the barrage or barrage or whatever you want to call this barrage. Uh, there's lots of death essentially. Death, death, death. And breakfast. Ah, yes. You're you're. Oh no. Right, hang on. Bombardment platform. What? Is that something Kentar or um, uh, Marid can do? Oh, sorry. Gull Kentar or Marid. What the hell are you. Are you just firing like thin. This face is just around the place. I. Hmm. I quite like that barrage platform. And again, an area station. I mean, I've seen a Jupiter station by two times. 
And then loading screen of some parts of SEO on Mars. That, I, I quite like that mission in, in Star Trek Online as a mission uh, very early on in the campaign where you essentially just, you're in a barrel. If you don't want to know about this, then stop, then just sort of skip sort of a few moments. But essentially, you're in a barrel, you're like, yo, houses of the Klingon Empire, do you want to join my struggle against these, not do you want to join my strike against these Federation because we're at war with them in the 24th century apparently? Oh yeah, sure. Let's do this. Right, good. Let's go to the heart of their, let's go, let's go to the Sol system and attack Jupiter Station. Um, which I, which I think from the very little I remember, it was quite fun. Uh, but yeah, anyway. They've lost this planet, so let's move up. Yeah, this is, this is, this is the, uh, the beginning of the end. My fleet has grown, and I am constantly bombing their fleet. So this music is perfect for this statement. Uh, this is from uh, Encounters of Thief, and if it's also from Encounters, it's also from Legacy, because they share the same soundtrack, or at least most of the time. Um, ha, right, yeah, so, good. Fun fact about it, it'll be uploaded tomorrow, although for me, it'll, the next episode will be uploaded in seven days, six days, seven days, no, today is Tuesday. So episode two is going to be uploaded, Jesus, that's, that's good, good, okay, yeah. You may think, what, episode two? But that, hey, that's pre-recording for you. Yep, pre-recording. Right, do that. Now, I do believe that if you upgrade uh, Warbird Wing, that just decreases the cooldown. It doesn't increase the amount of death ships you can have. I'm going to try that anyway. I can't because I'm in warp, but... You in warp? Oh, you are in warp. I thought you were just going in impulse power. That took me a long time to go in impulse power. Um, I'm pretty sure he's just calling one. Um, have you called him one? Oh, Christ, no, you've called him. Have you called it? Go away. Have you called him? To oh, no, you've only called him one. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Um, the Praetor will be pleased. That's interesting. Bomb the planet. <laughs> Show no mercy. Uh, that sounded a lot eviler than I meant it to be. Um, good. Uh, go over there. Just blow that up. Go on. The Klingons, pretty the Klingons own lots of space. I mean, that's that's a lot of space to cling on zone there. Um, the cling on ease. Ooh, look at me being the original series cling on. Ha 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 ha. Right. Um, go. That's just. Are they building anything there? Uh, I thought they were building Intrepid class, but that's just the top of the station. Okay, good. Ah, crap! Warp signatures. Are they attacking me? What are these so-called warp signatures? <gasps> a single predator! Oh, it's I, I can't believe it. I've only I've only built a defense fleet. I I, I oh terrible. Oh, cheers, cheers. That that's very appreciated. I, I do really appreciate that. That's a big help for me and my my peoples. Um. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Then all of these will be properly furnished and ready to depart for the enemy bases. Oh crap. I think they own that planet, and now they have a predator there. But now Gold Cart's there, so he might be able to just skim by them, considering he's going to be in phaser range now. Go, Gold, go! Phaser him to death. No! I hate you. Um, it's abandoning a friend. The previous episode was called Age of Allies. No, that was the name of episode 3. This is episode 5, I think. Is it? Yeah, that makes sense. Right, my fleet of... Crappy ships are on their way. Ah, look at them. I haven't used a hawk since the beginning of the battle. Hello, Commander Hawk or Lieutenant Hawk, whatever you've been named. Um, no, 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 I don't expect, I don't yes, not commander. expect them to, whatever the word is, I don't not expect them, yeah that'll do, I don't expect them not to capture it, that makes more sense, there we go, good. What is the request? You're in the fleet, and you're in the fleet, and you're in the fleet, and, well you're in the fleet, so. Go. Uh, so what is the fleet currently? Five anti-fighters and ten crappy battle frigates, or whatever they're called. Battle frigates. Um. Battle frigates. Good. 
Uh, right, what am I doing now? That's... Yay, the allies are helping me, that's fun. Yay, look at them, look at them with their alliness. Ooh, sending damaged ships to help me. Yeah, I don't blame them. Uh, that's all good. I've lost this plane. Oh no, I've recaptured. No, I haven't even recaptured it because it doesn't exist yet. Where uh, to? Hello. If you could, if you could go over here and just capture this planet, you know, because that's a good idea. What is the request? Uh, hello, Angry Tuvok. Just kill everything. That's the request. Yeah, destroy that target. Go. Blow it up. Destroy it. Make sure it doesn't live to see another day or something. Um, there, blow everything up, because you you seem happy. Uh, take out your anger on the enemy ships. Oh Christ, are we making strike class now? Ooh, they're quick. 14 seconds, yeah, they are quite quick to construct, it's gotta be said. Then 26 seconds, then 32 seconds. Ooh, got dummies longer to build ships in 20 seconds. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sneeze, this is bad. Uh, uh, okay, no, instead of sneezing, I yawned. Good, good, good. Okay, we're attacking the home world. Fire on everything. I wonder if they're building something. They're not building something. Yeah, prepare to engage the enemy, of, of, of which there is many, many, many enemies, of course. Definitely just nothing. Um. Oh, you've upgraded. Lovely. You can have a cloak if you want. Uh, that's bad, 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 that's bad. That's bad. Oh, yeah, you're here. Right. Fight the Federation. Fight. Fight them all. And on that plan, because I don't care about you, we will retake the Federation planets. And by retake, I mean take, because they weren't originally ours. Uh, right, good. Yes, we've repelled their assaults with the help of the other people, and now my voice sounds really, really croaky, but I, I, it, it is, and that's just the weird accent that suddenly occurred during my throat. During my throat, yes, that, that's perfect. Oh, you don't have any special abilities, are oh, you? Crap, what about you? You have, you have Tachyon Burst, and what about the Strike Craft? That's a colony ship. It's similar to the Strike Class, though. Uh, that's a uh, lambda, not lambda, but strike class. You have nothing. Right. <coughs> ah, choking. Good. Marvelous. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh Christ! Bugger off! I hate you. I hate you all. All of you. I hate you. You are all terrible people. Told you, told you they were gonna capture that. Home worlds. N oh, there's a phone ringing in the background. Good. Yeah, the home world is um, being bombed. That's the correct terminology, I think. Yeah. Lots of torps. Lots of torps. I say that. There's actually supposedly a little torps. Uh, Dartra, create more ships of death. Do they, do they just warp in or do they... Oh yeah, they warp in. Okay. Uh, you can just do combat maneuvers. Yes, remain nothing leaving. Ah, is it Kvek? God damn it to hell. Right, we're, well we've essentially wiped out the Federation. Except for these people. Yo! Yeah, yeah, go on the raids and go Kentar. Go and bomb the planet. Yes, yes. Bombing. Yes, the best idea, definitely. Homeworld's been lost. Move up. The last remnants of the Federation is here. Oh crap. Uh, you have destroyed the colony, yes, and planet colonized. Lovely. So they've lost their homeworld or a weird, like, thing here or whatever. I mean, how is this a homeworld? Huh? What? Where? How? When? It's quite a nice planet. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> I've destroyed the occupants of this planet. Oh, it's quite nice. Uh, right. Um. Uh. Uh. Um. No. Did I see a No, I didn't see a Jan. Sorry, whatever it's called. Ooh, allied in blue. That's a really nice shade of blue, though, when it says allied ships. Hmm, nothing. Right. Uh, that's a scout, so it's nothing to worry about. Send you over there. You and you are a fleet, and you are all decided that, and you are all decided. Oh no, test. Oh! Gremble face! Okay, good. Um, because Gremble face is the it's normal thing to say during that uh, slight annoyance. 
Uh, right, so we got my nice little strike craft fleet of death. You're here, lovely. Uh, there's a nice opportunity out they can't use it though. Um, shall we attack the Klingons? Five propaganda stations. Let's attack the Klingons. Uh, what's that up here? Quebec. I think they've. I think they've stretched their military too thin now. Stuff like here. <laughs> yes, their entire military is here. The one Vulcan, the capital ship, the dreadnought, the Uber ship. Nothing can surpass this tiny, amazing advancement of technology. No, nothing at all. It is definitely not outdated and crap. <laughs> definitely not not destroying that at all because of course oh crap zoomed out of the universe somehow good there we go that didn't happen much but unfortunately necessary evils um i even own many stuffs here can i use this ah if i scroll that i do get a stuff for that so these counters um as as thingamabobs, even though oh yeah, they they call cool, me are they they call cool? yes oh yeah they do that's Tell cool me, right um isolation policy how does an isolation policy work when with with trade surely that's the opposite of what you need I mean, don't don't I mean I'm, I'm, who am I to argue with the the will of Romulus but it seems a bit weird anyway glory of the empire oh crikey. Oh, that's just exploded. Fair enough. The block onto the good way. Higher, higher. We are higher. We are higher than you know the the highest fleet of death, aren't we? Um, let's cloak the fleet. There we go. I love that cloaking sound. Right, well, I know that we're here, but ooh, it's very rare. That's that's a small problem. I don't like this, but there's, it's very rare to find a planet with rings. And I really like planets with rings, but there's like one per game, so hmm. not complaining. That's perfectly fine. But um, yeah. Right. Are you still bombing the? Oh, there's nothing here. There's there's <laughs> the last remnants. Oh, such such amazing last remnants is of, of this. Is, is that even leaking plasma? Oh no, no, that's the slow strike craft. Ooh, Christ. Mm, look at it, look at it. Oh, Christ, look at all these fighters. Oh, crap. I tried to zoom in on a fighter when I zoomed in something half a light year away. Yeah. I wonder how many of these uh, scorpion fighters it would take to fill an entire light year. Just so you know, a light year is a distance, not a measurement of time. Um, <laughs> if you thought otherwise, I mean, I don't see why you would. Actually, I do, because it says a light year, so it's sort of, you would probably ordinarily think, oh, this is a, probably a year, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's uh, distance. It's the time it takes for light to get from somewhere to another place. It's the time it takes, it's the time light travels in a year. So a light year would be like, in, in the scale of this map, here? So, I don't know, maybe this is a light year diagonally, like a uh, monitor is 27 inches because it's diagonal instead of horizontal and vertical. Why is that? Why are monitors uh, another similar thing as like televisions and stuff? Um, just diagonal, why not horizontal and vertical measurements? Yeah. Uh, I, oh dear, that is that is less good to be honest. Um, oh Christ, the other... Oh. I saw that turret firing through that trade pod I thought thought, oh, that's a big building. Oh, Christ, they have a building. Oh, no, that's just nothing. Yeah, girl, I mean, you may well be upgraded to level 9. You probably have um, uh, imaginary in invincibility, whatever that upgrade's called. But something tells me you're not going to survive a, a, a attack of that magnitude. Anyway, um, oh, Christ, I don't know what I'm this for. Oh, 21 minutes. Oh, I want to stop I'm tired. <sighs> right, where's my, there's my perspective. Right, uh, <laughs> oh, that's a mishmash of not tens. How about now? Oh, lovely, that's a lovely non-mishmash of tens. Lovely, the homeworld of another species has been lost. Um, who? Let me zoom in. You have destroyed the colony of Olympus. Oh, right, yeah, last remnants of the... 
Federation. The Federation should be defeated now, perhaps. Are they? No, they're still... How are you still alive? You have no planets. Huh? What? Where? How? Whom? Who and who? Oh, dear. Right, well, they haven't got this planet because I killed them, so... Uh, unless they just... Oh, they have a planet here. I should have known. They have one in the warp space. Well, prepare to lose that last planet of yours. Uh, I, I need to keep a fit. How many fighters do I have? A lot is the answer. That's good. 21. 21 squadrons of bombers. That's... Oh, yeah, that's, that's quite a lot. Mm, yes. And how many fighters are there per squadron? I've 21 of the squadrons as well. That's, that's quite a few. Right. Uh, oh, Jesus. I found the Klingon fleet. I would have thought they'd be protecting their home world, but apparently not. Sure, yeah, attack attack this. What's over here? Pro propaganda stations. And over there's more propaganda stations. Oh, these look thin. These, um... That is, that is a, that's 2D, I'm going to say. I, I, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm going to say that's just a 2D image, which I can't see because it's diagonal and therefore impossible to see. Um, there, one of those. That looks very 2D. I mean, I know the rings of a planet are thin, but... Uh, anyway, I'm going to... Yeah, when you start saying how the rings of a planet are 2D, um, that, that's the sort of level of... of problems I have with this. Very, very little. Oh crap, did you just build a fleet? <gasps> and by fleet I mean ship. Oh, you built you built a, a, a ship that's like over a decade old. Oh, it's oh, it's incredible. Oh, it's, it's such a feat of engineering. It's so incredibly powerful. I don't know, wait, it's a, it's a crappy thing I think used to not fight fighters but in that sort of area. The Klingon Empire is quite big, it's gotta be said. Jesus. Yes, yep, I can't save. That's fair enough. No, the pra I don't think the Praetor will be pleased if, if we lose this due to problems with settings. But meh, whatever. Anyway. The Klingons are going to be a pain in the arm, aren't they? Uh, that's... Oh, that's quite... That's quite a few Kvex. I, yeah, I don't think this is to scale. Because I don't think a Burel, which is a, 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 a crappy little scout... Well, I say crappy, it's widely used throughout the Klingon Empire, but I don't think that is about one-fifth the size of a Kvek, a large battleship. I'm just going to put that out there. Is that, yeah, yeah, there's an Argvar, and there's a thing which is similar size to a Burel. That's not accurate, at least not accurate, just enough to its DS9. Um, also, I watched the thing. Uh, this is sort of a phaser and torpedo tube thing. Yes. And, and it's got a face, of course. Yeah, I mean, like a Burrell would be the size of that bus article. I've seen that's a bus article. Other than that, red line, but red light. But I mean, other ships have bus articles. So, you know, bus collectors. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's. Yeah. There's only one fleet that can defeat them. But I can't be asked. No, let's go. Um. Yeah, that's not where I need to go. Oh dear. Found the Federation fleet. Uh, where, where, hang on, where were we fighting? Were we fighting there? No, there. That's where they were fighting. Ooh, that's... Federation don't have a huge fleet. Our uh, allied Federation, just an enemy Federation. Uh, so yeah, just we were at the entire fleet, navy, death ships over there. Yeah, finish off the Federation. Come on, go a bit faster. Have you got like an anti speed thing? Um, No, I don't know. Anyway. I'll probably end about here due to reasons of minor boredom. So, <laughs> I don't know why. Why am I getting bored of this? Because it's a bit personal. Anyway, I'm sure the next episode will be filled with excitement and... Ooh, Gold Marid and Gold Kentar. Which one's... He's Gold Kentar, he's Gold Marid. They are departing and that is not Gold Cut. Instead, that is... I mean, not, not a Gold Cut. Um, holy shite, sir. Sorry, Germans. That's... Mmm... <laughs> they do require similar plans as they were before, aren't they? <laughs> that just looks like a TIE fighter. Now it looks like a, a, something else that's from Star Wars. It's like a scuttly thing. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like, subscribe, tell other people about this channel. And I think they've got their their, their doctrine stations and heavy, heavy defences. Um, <laughs> turrets and stuff. <laughs> 
That's quite impressive. I mean, how many is that? I'm going to say about 15. There we go. How many? Um, they've got 12 constructors. To one of their station. 16 union stations. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and they have a dreadnought thing. I think this planet is like the heart of their empire, other than yeah, perhaps maybe the Hound Lord. Or maybe this planet. Anyway. So, if you did enjoy this video, then please do like, subscribe, tell other people about this channel, share it, which is actually the same thing, and just other words. Oh dear. What's your. We've lost eight defenders. That's. That's actually not that bad considering the defenders are like it. To be. No, I think we had eight. And I thought we had eight. We had nine. 18. 18, not 80. We didn't have 80. I can, I can assure you that. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out Steam and Twitters, which is what I've forgotten to say in the previous episode, which I recorded about half an hour ago. And yes. So, uh, bye. Mm, yeah, no, don't go over there, you blithering idiots. Bum the, uh. Bye.